welcome, welcome. So happy to see you all. This is the gentle class. So the whole thing takes place in 30 minutes with me, Renee, a registered nurse and personal trainer. So good morning. We begin every class with our posture. So in good alignment, our knees are over our ankles and our feet are pointing forward with the the feet kind of coming right out of the thighs, if you will. So everything's in like nice straight lines, nice angles. Shoulders are back, chest is out, and we begin to move our arms and legs to whatever ability we have today. Whatever that is. If you can move your arms, great. If you can move your legs, great. If you can do a bit of both, great. Fantastic. So this is where we get started. Just moving, smiling, and breathing. So big deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose if you can, exhaling through the nose if you can. All right, let's try that again. Big deep breaths. Oh, good, good. And a few more. Fantastic. So we're going to do a little bit of shoulder moves today. So we're going to take uh, one heel and put it out. Take the opposite arm and do a nice windmill arm back. That's it. And then take the other heel, opposite arm to the big windmill back. And then we do that again. Heel goes out, opposite arm, big windmill back. And then again. So this is like a chest stretch. And it's just a different way to get our arms reaching. Yes. Because I don't know about you, but if you notice after a time, if you check out people's shoulders, You'll find it's really hard for them, even in young people, to get their, their, their arm past their ear. Go one more time on each side. Like you love it. You want to get even further. That's it. Very good. Very good. So if you can, begin to lift your toes. So just your toes. The heels stay on the ground. So just lifting the toes. Now we press the hands together in front of us, and we bring those pressed hands in towards our chest, and then we roll our shoulders down and back, and we reach them out again. We press the hands together, we bring them in, and then we roll our shoulders down and back. Yes, this one is recommended by the Arthritis Society, and it's part of having healthy shoulder blades, right? So reach out, in, and back and down. One more time. Out, palms in, and back and down. There you go. I mean the shoulders back and down. Keep the toes tapping 30 more seconds. We're going to reach the arms up. Big deep breath. Exhale, elbows down. Spread those fingertips wide. Inhale, reach up, up, up. That's it. Exhale, squeeze those shoulder blades down and back. Again, reaching up, up, up. Again, this one too, completely safe. You can go online right now and check out the Arthritis Society. This will be one of the exercises they recommend to do daily. Yes, good job, good job. All right. So when we're done our toe taps, we want to do the opposite movement, which is going on our toes, right? So let's do four of those. So on our toes and back down, on our toes, that's it, and back down. One more time. Good. Now we can keep it here or we can take one foot up and then go on our toe with the other foot. One, keep this leg up. Two, three, one more, four. Do you see what I'm doing here? This leg is actually working harder. Let's put that leg down and do the other one for four. So on our toes, we want to lift this toe with our big toe. Yeah. Three, four. Fantastic. We should do that again. So on both, one. Two on our toes, three, sitting nice and tall, four, and then lifting one foot with the big toe, and then on our toe with the other foot. One, two, that's it, three, 
core. So just holding this leg, fantastic, right? Gives us a lot of work, okay? With any risk of injury, it's all we're doing is holding. So on the other one, one, two, that's right, three, and four. Great job, great job. Okay, so getting into the workout now, we're gonna take opposite arm and leg, and we're gonna lift the foot so it's not on the ground anymore. And as we take the leg out, we do not put it down. We just bring it back, one. We don't wanna bring it, yeah, that's perfect. Two, and that will keep our alignment, right? Because then we're not putting it down anywhere. Three, so we wanna breathe with it. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Now three more. Now we're starting to feel it, yes? If you are going to put it down, put it down to the front. One more. Good. Now at first, it can be difficult to do opposite arm and leg. You know, naturally our bodies want to do same side, but that's okay. We'll practice, it will come. So we want to lift with the big toe. We don't want to put it down. Because uh, over time, I noticed that the alignment could be a little off. So if we just keep it up, and if you have to put it down, put it down in the front. Big deep breath. Exhale in. That's right. Big deep breath. Woo! Exhale in. Now four more to enjoy, okay? Big deep breath. Exhale in. Three more. Two more. Two more big deep breaths. One more like you love it. You love it. It's making you stronger right now. Good job. Good job. All right. So we're going to lift one of our legs up, the leg that we gave a rest to just a second ago. And then we're going to press that heel out. And then bring it back in. And then do that again. Press that heel out too. And then bring it back in. And kick that heel out. Three. We always do eight repetitions generally. Four. Good job. Good job. Five. If you need to rest it at any time, you can put it down and join us again when you can. Six. Two more. Two more. Really press out through the heel. Seven. One more. Eight. Fantastic. Put that leg down. Realign your body, make sure your shoulders back, your chest is out, sitting nice and tall in good posture, lift the other foot with the big toe, and then press the heel out, curl it in, press it out, two, that's it, big deep breaths, three, like you love your legs, four, because they're fantastic, right, five, Three more for strength. Two more. These are the best ones. One more. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. All right. So let's grab our resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, that's okay. You're just going to do the movements without the resistance band. Right? And just do them with your own body weight. But if you happen to have one, fantastic. We're going to place it under our feet. Get our shoulders back, our chest out, and sit nice and tall. So uh, I'm just going to show one without the band in case you don't have one. And then for those of you that have bands, you're just going to hang on to your band. Okay? Shoulders back, chest out, feet here or here if you want to work the inner thigh. We're going to exhale our chest down. And then inhale, bring our chest up, and then bring that hands up and into an upright row. You got it. And then release. So then we do it all again. Down. This is called a deadlift. Come up. That's it. Shoulders back, chest out, lift, and squeeze. Fantastic. So we'll do it again. Shoulders back, chest out, down. Good. Come up, lift, and squeeze. You got it, you got it. 
So only five more. We better enjoy them. Shoulders back, chest out, down into our deadlift. We want a nice neutral spine. Inhale up. Press into your feet. Lift the elbows. Squeeze the upper back. This is called an upright row. It's really important to protect our spines. So we don't want to take it lightly. We want to really enjoy it. Down. Up. Lift the elbows and squeeze. Perfect. Nice and slow. Two more. Two more. Shoulders back, chest out. This is working our spinal erectors. And then we're going to come up, lift, and squeeze. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. So we're going to do microphone hold. Or for those of you that don't have a band, you're just going to make a fist. Right? Microphone hold for everybody else. And then you're going to curl in and release down. Good. You got it. So with the band, that makes a little more sense, right? Curl in. But it's good to get used to the movement anyway. And then release down. Let's squeeze our bum and pull the abdominals in. So this is called a basic hammer curl. And the purpose is to work our biceps. Yes. Good. In. And down. Fantastic. Or for those of you doing it with just body weight, think about fists up, fists down. Imagine you have heavy dumbbells or cans of soup in your hand. And down. Fantastic. Enjoying three more. Curl. And down. Two more. Curl. And down. Woo! One more. One more. Big deep breath. Squeeze your bum. Pull your abs in. All right. So for those of you with the band, you're going to hold the band at the very tip of the band. And we're going to do one try. We're going to be shoulders out, chest out. You're going to hold your band and go out to the side. Perfect. Or just take your arms out to the side. Shoulders back, chest out, lift here. There you go. And down. That looks really good. Waist resistance looks the same. Up. And down. It's the same. It's the same. Whether you have resistance or you can be the resistance. All right, good. Four more. Shoulders back, chest out, chin in, lift. Squeeze your bum. Pull the abs in, lower, slower. Good. Two more, two more. Lift, hold, slowly down. There, now you feel it, right? That's beautiful. Let's do it again. Lift, hold, oh, that's good. Slowly down. Fantastic. Now, same thing to the front. So realign, shoulders back, check, chest out, chin in, and go to the front. Ooh, that's good. So if I was using just my body weight, I would do exactly the same. Two, that's it. Lift to the front, hold, slowly down, breathe. That's it, again, lift to the front, hold, slowly down. Four more, four more. Lift to the front, hold, slowly down. Remember, squeeze your bum and pull the abs in. <sighs> Feels good, doesn't it? Oh, so good. Two more. <sighs> Enjoying one more. <sighs> good job, good job. All right, we're going to do a little boost between. So we're going to march for 30 seconds. So what this means is we're trying to bring our heart rate up a little bit. So our body doesn't know if we're doing strength or endurance. So we burn a few more calories. We get our heart rate a little bit more conditioned, so our lung can more conditioned, and work the muscles as well. And it's more fun, right? Good. Fantastic. 
All right, now just the leg for 30 seconds. We're going to kick one leg out, kick it out to the side, bring it back, and down. Lift the other leg out, kick it out to the side, back, and down. Now remember, you can always keep the knee a little bit bent, right? That will lessen your lever, make it a little bit easier. Lift, out, down, and back. Now we've got three more. So the butterfly, we want to open our chest. Exhale, we want to curl in. That's it. Inhale, we're butterflies. Opening our chest. Exhale, we're going into our cocoon. Good. Inhale. Woo! Exhale, crunch in. This is like doing our ab crunches. So one more. Very good. Now, if you're new to the program, we're going to do 30 seconds of belly lock because I think it's worth it. So we're going to put our hands on our abdominals, okay? These are our muscles. We have to think about them and train them. So you take a big, deep breath and breathe into that belly. Exhale and take all the air out of your belly and pull the abdominals in consciously. I can't do it for you. Inhale. Let the belly expand, expand, exhale, pull the belly in, even if that means crouching. Good. Again, inhale, big belly, exhale, pull that belly in. Make those muscles work. One more time. And then exhale, pull the belly in. Very good. Very good. And then last one. It's the, for 30 seconds, we're going to do side bend. So we're going to inhale and reach up. Exhale, over. Inhale, reach up again. And exhale, down. Let's do that again. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, over. Woo! That's it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, down. One more time on each side. Inhale, reach higher. Exhale, gently over. Very good. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And one more time on this side. Doesn't that feel good? It's like your body is saying thank you. Woo! Good job. Good job. All right. So a little bit more with the leg. I must warn you that when you're beginning to do rows, it can take getting used to where to put the arms and where to put the band and where to put anything. So I'm going to show a few variations. So I'll, I'll set everybody up. So you would put your band oh, under one foot and in our microphone hold. And then we're going to do a narrow row. So for everybody else, if you don't have a band, you could either put the foot down or have the foot up you know, scooch forward a little bit so you can bring your elbows behind and squeeze them into your rib cage and then release or down here. So pull the elbows back, squeeze them against your rib cage and then release them. Okay? Row, squeeze, release. I, I need everyone to focus on the muscles that they're squeezing. Because those muscles will feed your bones. They will get blood and minerals. Good. So all the bones that they're attached to. Good. So three more. Row, squeeze, release. Or down here, one more. Row, squeeze, release. Very good. Very good. So now... If you happen to have the band, then you're going to take the band under one foot, palms down, upright row. Lift, squeeze, and release. So if you were doing this without a band, you would do the same. You would lift, squeeze, and release. Or with the leg down. Lift, squeeze, and release. Good. It's easier with your leg up. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And release. Good. Three more. Three more. Lift the elbows. 
Squeeze the upper back, stick your chest out, and release. Two more. Bring your elbows back, squeeze your upper back, and release. One more, one more. Up, squeeze, release. So good. Let's take it to the other side. Same thing. So we're just going to repeat that same thing. So in the microphone hold, we do a regular narrow row, just like you're rowing a boat. So with the hands here, we roll it back, we squeeze. All right? So if you don't have a band today, that's fine. Pull the elbows back, squeeze them against your rib cage, and release. Or you can put the leg down if you want it to be a little bit easier. Row, squeeze, and release. See how my hands are kind of going parallel, like they're not really coming up. They're staying kind of parallel, and I'm squeezing them back. So it's different than a curl. It's a roll. You're pulling into your body, and you're squeezing your back. Good. Three more. Row. Squeeze. Release. Two more. Row. Squeeze. Release. Or if you're doing it with the band, one more. Good. Now release some of the tension so that you have the band uh, at a reduced resistance, so nearer to the tips of the band. Palms down, shoulders back, chest out, lift the elbows, squeeze the upper back, and then release. So if you were doing it without the band, same thing. Lift, squeeze, release. Because every opportunity, if you think about the muscles that are squeezing, you're going to get a really good workout. And if you're just getting started, not having a band is a good opportunity to practice the movements. Yes? This is an upright row. So pull the elbows back, squeeze, and release. So four more. With the band, it looks exactly the same. That's it. Three more. Pull the elbows back, squeeze, and release. One more, one more. Pull, squeeze, release. All right. So let's do the 30 seconds of jogging again or marching. So we're just going to move our arms and legs to whatever ability we have today. Listen to our bodies, smile, get, and breathe. Breathe as deep as you can. Good, good. So it's really important to exercise because as we age, generally our bodies naturally reduce themselves in muscle, right? We have like a natural atrophying of the muscle, but we're not letting that happen. We're building our muscles every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's pretty fantastic. So with that in mind, we're doing the leg out to the side, shoulders back, chest out, press the heel out, go out to the side. Come back and release it down. Then we do the other side. Lift, out, in, and back. Really press into the leg that's stabilizing your position. Right? Let's not like just fly through it. Feel the leg go over. Bring that leg back. Release down. We should do it one more time on each side. Lift, over. These very small muscles Help keep your hips and knees strong. Oh, that's right. That's right. Very good. Very good. And then with the butterfly. So remember, we're bringing in the abs, right? So open the chest, even if you have to put your hands here or here, wherever you got to put them, and then curl in like a cocoon. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, curl in, curl in, tailbone back, abs in. Again, big deep breath, take your time, exhale, pull it in. Let's do it again, let's do it again, like you're excited. Woo! Fantastic. Pull those muscles in with you, exhale in. One more time, one more time. So that one is called 
the butterfly, and I actually took it from the stand-up program, because it's one of the exercises that was safe to do in a chair, and was really good for the abdominals. So remember we practiced that side bend, let's do that again. Remember your alignment, you want to keep your shoulders back, your chest out, begin with the tall position, and then exhale over. See? Fantastic. And then down. And then the other side. Inhale, tall first. Exhale, over. Inhale, back to tall. And down. One more time on each side. That looks beautiful, by the way. And over. Inhale, tall. And down. Very good. Very good. One more time. One more time. We got to do the other side. Over. Inhale, tall, and down. Beautiful job, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna do a few, um, a few push-ups, okay? Cause and do like a half series, it's called. So you put your hands on your front thighs. You sit up as tall as you can, like a sphinx. You exhale and roll your tailbone back. Make yourself into an angry cat. And then you stick your chest out back to Sphinx. And then you bring your chest down towards your legs and you stretch your lower back. And then you come all the way back up to Sphinx. Then we do it again. We make like our tailbone back nice and round. Inhale, chest out. Exhale, chest down. Oh, now that you're getting it, we're going to do it one more time. Okay? Exhale, abs in, nice round shape. Inhale, sphinx. Exhale, chest down, it's like a push-up. Inhale, press yourself up using your hands. Very good. Squeeze your armpits at the top here. Very good, very good. Sticking one leg out, the knee could be bent, but the foot must be flexed, which always means toes towards you towards your head so bring those toes and bring them up and that will get the calf stretch most important stretch of the day shoulders back chest out bring the chest towards the thigh that's extended hamstrings now it's going to get a little bit uncomfortable but we're going to take a deep breath in that discomfort and press the chest forward tuck the chin in big deep breath Press the chest forward. Now we're going to release our hands and our head down. Whether that be on the leg, whatever, take two more deeper breaths with your head relaxed. Imagine relaxing closer to the leg or the floor. Good. Now gently walk it up. So I know at first, it's hard for people to stay in the stretch, right? But we need to, because it takes 30 seconds for us to get that relaxation response, which is about six breaths. So flex the foot, soften the knee, get nice and tall, press the chest forward. That's it. Feel that beautiful leg. Take a deep breath in. Press the chest forward. Deep breath in. Press the chest forward. Now relax your hands and your head down wherever you want, whether you want supported on the legs. Just get that chest down there. Two more deep breaths. Relax the head fully. One more deeper breath. Good. And now walk it gently up. Good job. Good job. Most important stretch of the day. Yes? Good, good. So we'll do a nice shoulder stretch today because we only got about two minutes left. It goes by fast, right? I always use my left arm first. So I'm going to bring it across my body. And then I'm going to use my other arm to pull it into my body. And then bring the shoulder blade down. So straight arm. Start with your straight arm across. Good. And then take the other arm to pull that arm in. Good. Exactly. Good. It may take practice.
practice to get it. That's all right. Good. And then the other side. So again, begin with the straight arm reaching out. That opens the chest. And then across the body, it's called a horizontal shoulder stretch because the arm is horizontal. Pull the straight arm into your body. That's it. Yeah. And then pull the shoulder blade down. Sometimes it can take a while, right, to get your body to do what you want it to do. And that's because there, there needs to be a little more work, a little more work between the muscle and the brain. So that's what we're doing. Good job, good job. One more stretch today, the tricep. So we're going to lift our arm up, let the arm go back. Got that? And then push that elbow a little further back to feel the stretch in the tricep, wherever it goes. You could start here, but I have to go here to feel it. Good. And your aim is to try to get that arm near your ear. Good. And then release. We got to do the other one now. So start by lifting your arm up to the ceiling, letting the arm go back. See, now that's where you naturally are. We want to make that a little bit further, a little bit deeper. Feel the muscle here. And then if you can go all the way back, then do so. Good. Yes, that's exactly it. Good. Good. Good job today. Good job. And I just keep in mind that when you're just starting out, it can be a little challenging to get the body to do the things we needed to. But that only gets better in time, and in two weeks' time, you notice a huge difference. So have yourself a great day. I will see you on Wednesday for more fantastic exercises. Really good job, everyone. Have a great day, and in about 15 minutes, we'll have yoga. If you guys want to stay, or otherwise, I will see you on Wednesday. Thank you. <laughs>